me a Parsha story. Welcome to Parsha Pals. One year, there was a little situation that needed to be handled in a school. There were six first graders who had birthdays in the same month. The parents wanted to make sure that the birthday parties wouldn't overlap so that every child would have an opportunity to have their friends come to their party. What were they to do? The moms and dads made a decision that they were going to set up a document, a Google Doc, and they were going to list one, two, three, four, five, six, and each Sunday, a different one of those children would have their party for the children in the class. That way, everybody would be able to attend. What a great idea. Invitations were sent out, and Avraham filled out the Google Doc first, and his party was first. It was so much fun. The children in the class came. There was pizza and ice cream, and they played so many fun games. It was really great, and the friends were looking forward to the next party. The next week's party was going to be celebrating Rivka's birthday. Rivka said, um, Mommy, Abba, I don't want my party to be so similar to Avraham's from last week. Can we add special toppings to the pizza? Then we'll have ice cream and games. And can we add a sushi platter to my party and a painting activity to my party? And Rivka's parents said, well, okay. So the children in the class came to Rivka's house. The following Sunday at 12 o'clock, they ate pizza with special toppings and ice cream and sushi. They played games and they had a lovely painting activity. At 2 o'clock, all the children were picked up and they were very curious what was going to happen the next week at Shmuel's birthday party. Well, Shmuel had a conversation with his parents. Mommy, Daddy, I'm the third party. I really want mine to be spectacular. Can we have pizza and an ice cream truck at my party? And maybe four sushi platters and games and a juggler? And can we do it in a mini golf course? Um, Shmuel, are you serious? Yeah, I'm really serious, said Shmuel. And Shmuel's parents agreed. And at Shmuel's party at 12 o'clock, which took place at the mini golf course, there were sushi platters and pizza and an ice cream truck right outside. And a juggler. The party ended at 2 o'clock. Riva was up next week. Well, listen to the conversation that happened in her living room a few days before her party. Mom and Dad, besides for pizza with toppings and ice cream and sushi, I was thinking that maybe we could rent a cotton candy machine and a gumball machine. And we could fill the gumball machine with not only gumballs but also candies and give out coins to the kids. This was really getting very out of hand. In Avi's house, because he was going to be the week after Riva, the fifth week, he was already talking to his parents and saying, could I order a soda machine for my party? And could we have it at Yankee Stadium? And could we have steaks and knishes and hot dogs and burgers? Mm. And then at the same time, in Moshe's house, He was going to be the sixth party. He was asking his parents, Ima, Abba, can I take my class to Disney? To Disney World? This is getting out of control. This week's Parsha, Parashat Naso, 
is very, 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 very long. Do you know why? Because it talks about the different presents that each Nasi, each leader from each Shevet, brought as a gift to the Mishkan. And each one brought the exact same gift. And the Torah repeats describing what each gift was. Each one is six pesukim long. Wow, that makes this parsha so long. A hundred and seventy-six pesukim. It's the longest parsha in the whole entire Torah. The Midrash tells us that the first Nasi to bring a present was from Shevet Yehuda. It was Nachshon ben Aminadab. He was allowed to bring whatever he wanted. He brought a silver bowl that weighed 130 shekel, a silver basin that weighed 70 shekel. Both of them were filled with special fine flour that was mixed with oil for a mincha. And one golden ladle, 10 shekels of weight, filled with spices. One young bull, one ram, one sheep in its first year for an ola, one goat for a chatas, and one shlamim offering, which was two cows, five rams, five goats, five sheep in their first year. Wow, that's a big present. So, after Nachshon brought his gift on day one, the second Nasi, whose turn it was on the second day, was Netanel ben Suar. He came from the Shevet of Yisachar. What was he going to bring? Was he going to try to outdo Nachshon ben Aminadav? Wow! If he tried to bring more than him, imagine what would have happened by the time the 12th Nasi was bringing his. Netanel ben Suar decided to bring the exact same gift that Nachshon ben Aminadav brought. And he set the tone. And day after day, each Nasi brought the same exact gift. This showed such achdut, such unity, such peacefulness. Each Nasi, on the day that he brought his gift, by bringing the same one as the Nasi from the day before, was showing, I'm not trying to outdo you. I'm not jealous. I'm going to make my own contribution meaningful. And so... Those first graders who were so worried that their party wouldn't be special enough following the week after another party, those children can learn from the Nisim, the special princes from this week's Parsha about the importance of unity and trying to be sensitive to the needs of other people, not trying to outdo them or to be better than them. I hope we could take this lesson into our lives and that our efforts to do so will serve as a zuchut for our beloved chayalim and brothers and sisters in Israel. Shabbat Shalom!